Screw you guys. I'm going home. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube series on how to create a living room PC games console. Today, we're going to look at some of the streaming solutions that I've used over the years. Up until really recently, I haven't really wanted to put a full-blown PC in my living room. That's because in the old days, to get a PC that had a good graphics card and was able to play games in the living room meant building a giant tower and bringing a tower into the living room and all that kind of stuff. I was never willing to do that. Uh, I was willing, however, to play around with the streaming feature. So that's something that Valve introduced a couple of years ago, uh, and we used it quite extensively here. So you'll see here, uh, the footage that you're looking at is about three years old. Uh, I first started to tinker around with this when Stream was offering this feature in beta. You'll notice there that I've got a wired mouse and a wired controller plugged in because at this time I'm really just trying to experiment with what I can and can't do. That little PC that I have plugged into my TV at the time, that was my home theater PC that I used for a long, long time. Um, at this time, all that was installed on it was Kodi, which used to be called XBMC. We see here that uh, I've installed Steam and fired it up. Didn't really have to do any configuration. I just logged into Steam with the account that I'm logged into upstairs. And I'm just moving things around here to take a look. You notice there that when I select a game, it says stream instead of install or start, which is nice. It automatically detected my library from upstairs and click stream and the game just kicks right off. So you can see here the quality is great. You know, it looks good. Looks just like, uh, you know, you'd expect the game to look when you're running it natively. Um, so, you know, this was early days for me, just playing around, trying to see, is this thing going to work? How well does it work? Is it a solution that would really be viable for me and my family? So fast forward now a year or two later, and, you know, I'm playing around with emulators and getting emulators to stream. Uh, here we're seeing my daughters playing Animal Crossing on the couch downstairs. This game is actually running on the PC upstairs and it's being beamed to the TV downstairs, uh, which is really a great feature. So to show that there isn't any editing magic going on and we're not playing around with footage or anything like that, uh, we walk upstairs to the office and uh, we see there that uh, the game is running on the primary PC upstairs. That's my developer machine. Uh, and really the computer that's downstairs is just remote controlling that over the network. So here we're looking at uh, another clip a little while later. Well, yeah, we've somewhat finalized that streaming solution. We're using it on a daily basis. We replaced the wired controllers with wireless game pads instead. Um, you'll notice here that uh, you know I got, I got my daughter playing GTA 4. Uh, no need to worry though because she isn't really playing GTA. Um, yeah, I've got some mods installed there to where it replaces the main character's model with Elsa from the cartoon Frozen. And the main story missions are blocked and everything, so she's not going to be exposed to any, you know, inappropriate content here. I uh, basically got God Mode enabled, and all she can really do is run around and, and, and shoot stuff. So, uh, But the point here is that you can see, I mean, I, I don't think that you, if you were running this natively, that you would see any difference. I mean, the game looks just like it would look if it's running natively, um, and everything is, is like you'd expect it to be, so... Um, I hope this helps you, uh, you know, in your decision to whether you should stream or build or, or whatever. So um, thanks for watching.